I have a very swishy cattail. So anything could happen at any moment. So I better be a calm and peaceful soul. Anyway, the topic this week is the actual process of creation being a manifester. And yesterday I referred to that great line of scripture that says, as a man or a woman think in her heart, so shall he or she be. And one of the most clever lines I've heard in the world of spirituality, it's so simple, but it's so true, is that it's an inside job. Normally we think of that phrase as a embezzlement scheme or bank robbing scheme, but spirituality, the art, the science of creation manifestation is an inside job. And it's something that we're all involved with. Sometimes we might be talking to somebody whose life is filled with chaos or um, misery or limitation of some sort. And they, they might say something to us like, I'm not much of a creator. I'm kind of a lousy manifester. And their spiritual mentor might say back to them, no, you're an excellent manifester. You're just really good at creating misery and destruction. We're always creating something. We're always shaping the world into something. Whatever the shape of our consciousness is, that is what will appear on the outside. And in the world of spirituality, if you think about it, that's one of the deepest and most fundamental definitions is that what's inside of us is shaping the outside world. So we're always in the process of manifesting. We're always in the process of creating because as it says in the scriptures, we're made in the image of God. Do we all look like 70 year old men with white beards and white flowing robes living in clouds? I don't think that's what it means at all. I think that's a juvenile sort of silly representation. My cat's going to now knock over the, um, the camera, which wouldn't be good. So hold please. I'm going to manifest that. Anyway, I better cut to the chase, huh? So if there's a great desire in your life, when we remember that in spirit, desire and fulfillment are one, it's a cycle and it's always filling whatever way we're shaping our mind is always being filled in. And somebody might say, well, all I'm creating is scarcity or poverty or loneliness or fear or disease. The shape of our mind is simply filling that in consistently. It's not that we're not manifesting. It's just that we're not very skillful or paying very much attention to our manifestation in our med in our meditation we begin to loosen we begin to soften the accretion the opinions the ideas that we're holding in our mind and thus that gives us the resource the energy the creativity the imagination to begin to shape new ways of feeling inside of us because we are always creating something and when we create an internal world of calm and peace, abundance and prosperity, health and liveliness, gratitude and appreciation, joy and delight, then the outside world simply must reflect it. And the desires, whatever the specific desires are, whatever that is for us, it's all different. You desire something different than me, but I suspect at depth what we're all truly deeply desiring is love and joy and bliss and truth and beauty and calm, the very gratitude and enjoyment of existence. So in our meditation, as we soften the hardness, the opinions, the grooves, the ruts inside of our mind, we reestablish ourselves as the brilliant creators we were meant to be. If our minds are filled with fear and worry and dread and anxiety and resentment, it doesn't matter what our desires are, they will certainly be filled, but they'll be filled with that quality. We know of people who've gained a great deal of money and they remain very, very fearful. We know of people who gained a great deal of worldly power and yet they suffered from physical malady. So it's an inside job as we clean up, soften, harmonize and bring our inner world into alignment. Our desires will be so easily fulfilled. We'll desire, it'll be fulfilled and our desires will actually be satisfying rather than stimulate the next craving. Food for thought. Sorry about the cat. I'm going to manifest a calm and peaceful cat. Have a beautiful day.